Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at a nice, simple drill ship, which is the Vohar Drill. This ship features the ability to switch your drills from vertical to horizontal, so you can drill in multiple different directions. And if you wanted to build a tunnel system, then this is the perfect ship to use. Pressing F10 and finding the blueprint, this little drill ship comes in at 164 blocks, which is a tiddly little thing. So going around the outside, we can see the DLC cockpit sitting there. If you do not have access to the first DLC, it will probably spawn in without a cockpit, but you can easily replace it with the rover cockpit off the workshop. We can see it has a nice lot of atmospheric thrusters going all the way around this, so it's only suited for planets. It cannot go in space unless, of course, you alter the design and perhaps add some ion thrusters on it should you get that far in survival mode. We've got a gyroscope on the front there with three batteries all lined up. A nice bit of block work there around the gyroscope. And coming up the top there, we've got some LCD screens there on both sides of the cockpit. So if I just quickly hop in and go first person, we can see the inventory and we can see if any blocks are damaged, which is quite handy. If you had the build and repair system, you could attach that on and just forget about the damage block system and let that repair yourself. But that is an extra step. Going around the side, we have the drilling arm. So we can see a camera, we can see our light connectors, the two big drills, and how it's attached to the ship on a advanced rotor. Moving a bit across, we can see even more atmospheric thrusters. We've got a solar panel covering the very top of the ship. So it does have some renewable power on here to keep it going. Coming around to the back, We've got some LCD screens and some lovely buttons. So we got a button to turn the lights on and off. And we have a button for the ejector. And we do have an LCD screen there telling you if any blocks are damaged. And those are the ejectors slightly above it. So it's a lovely ship design. It's really well made, very compact, light on the blocks and survival ready. But now it's time to hop into the cockpit and show what some of the things can do. So number one is for your atmospheric thrusters. So we can just fly away there. It's kind of like a frog taking off. But yes, it can fly pretty damn fast on the vertical. Number two and number three are how we change the drilling arms. So pressing number three, then pressing number two, the drilling arms will then move forwards. And they'll stop by themselves when they reach their position, which is that. Then we can hit number three to lock them in place. Number four is to turn the drills on permanently, although we have number eight if you wish to control them with your mouse. Number five is a camera on the very back, I believe. We then have a light button, ejectors, and of course the manual drill controls. So moving forwards, it's pretty slow. Stopping is pretty good as well as going backwards. Left and right is very good. And pressing C to go down and space to go. Space is insane going just the speed it can go. Let's now just drop down here and come into first person. I believe it's time to make a big hole in the ground. So let's just move them all the way down. Activate that. Let's just zoom away. In fact, let's hide the HUD. Make sure I'm balanced in fact. There we go, that should be nice and balanced. Then I'm just going to uh, drop down till I hit the ground, balance myself out, and it's time to start drilling. Looking across to the side, it should hopefully start reporting. There we go, I've got 28k ice inside. I'm just going to keep heading down into this hole. Now I did hit something there, but no blocks are damaged, but let's just Keep heading down here. I'm sure this is fine. In case you're wondering, I am deliberately trying to break a block. And then raising myself out the hole, I think we collected quite a good amount of resources. Yes, 106k ice. Made a small little hole there. But now it's time to test out the forwards drills. So the forwards drills should allow you to make just a giant hole to drive all the way forwards. Going down is a little bit iffy. But let's just tilt myself like this and start making a hole. So down we go, 
We are a little bit heavy to be doing it like this. In fact, yes, I'm too heavy to actually reverse at this point in time. So I'm just going to have to keep going until I reach the other side of the planet. That's the only way I'm going to be free at this point. You could also do other things with this, so if you wanted to just collect up a load of ice, you could just fly straight forwards like this and just collect up as much as you want. Let's just put those ejectors on. So hopefully you'll start ejecting out all the stuff I don't need. There we go, we just keep moving it along very slowly. I just collect up all the ice. It's a handy little drilling ship if you ever wanted to have one pre-built. So yeah, we are a little bit heavy when we face the ground. There's not enough thrust once the drills have got a load of materials inside them. But still, it's a useful little drill ship nonetheless. So let's now just head straight towards this patch here. Bit too hard. Did I damage a block? No, I didn't. Huh. This thing is pretty solid. So let's now just keep drilling. You can see the ejectors are now just removing all the stone because we don't need them. And we can just keep going on like this. I'm going to press number 5 if I want to reverse myself out. But unfortunately, I was a little bit too heavy for that. So no blocks of damage. We got some stone. We got some ice. Let's go and crash this. So as per usual, it'll be in the description below if you wish to download and give this little minor a whirl. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. In fact, there are the tanks from the last video. Let's now just go and crash myself in there and see if that little display screen there will display any damage blocks. I want to be careful not to damage the actual cockpit, so let's just go and... I think it could be a little bit damaged. Just a little bit. What do you say, little connector? Yeah, yeah, just, just a bit of damage. So like I said, it's in the description below if you wish to play around with this mining ship. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.